reading the book, The HP Way by David Packard. And it was by Dave Packard, who's the founder of uh, HP, founder of Hewlett Packard. And one of the things he said in the book was so profound that I had to talk about it this morning. Um, and this is probably one of the most fundamental ideas about building a business that I hope you'll keep in mind as you continue to explore, as you continue to build your business. This is the most fundamental idea when it comes to building a business. Most people, when they think about building a business, they're thinking about how can I succeed? So when you only think about how can you succeed, you really don't build a business, you're being very selfish. What Dave Packard did, what Dave Packard and Bill Hewlett did when they started Hewlett Packard back in 60s and 70s, they asked themselves, how can we contribute? That was the most fundamental question they asked themselves. How can we contribute? And that is in the ethos of Hewlett Packard in some ways. Hewlett Packard was founded on the principle of what can we contribute to this world? Always asking the question, what can we contribute to this world? And that is a very different mindset. It's a very different mindset when you're thinking about what can you contribute compared to thinking, how can I be successful? Most entrepreneurs start with thinking, how can I be successful? And as soon as you take on that thinking, you are not really thinking about the customers. And when you're not thinking about the customers, guess what happens? Well, you don't really make much progress. But if you constantly think about, how can I contribute to this world? How can I make this world a better place? How can I make my customers' lives better? Well, the customers will come to you. So in the HP way, Dave Packer talks a lot about this idea that you really have to constantly think about what can we contribute. Constantly challenge yourself to think, what can we contribute to this world? What can we do? Um, <clears throat> what can we do to make our customers' lives better? What can we constantly do to make our customers' lives better? That is the most important question you want to ask in your business. If you're not asking that question, if you're not consistently asking the question, what can we do to make our customers' lives better? You are probably falling through the temptation, the trap of thinking, how can I make more money? Or how can I be successful? How can I be successful in business? And as soon as you start thinking that, as soon as you take your mindset from what can we contribute to how can I succeed, you are in trouble, my friend. Because that's when you start doing the uh, you start taking the easy route. You start doing things that you should not be doing. You start to uh, abuse your uh, equity that you have with your customers, with your or with your fans, with your subscribers, whoever you want to call them. So always think, how can I contribute? How can I make their lives better? How can we do something that the world will appreciate rather than thinking about how can we just make more money? How can you make more money is a very dangerous it's a very dangerous way of looking at the world or it's a very dangerous way of looking at business because you ultimately succumb to the temptation of making more money and hence end up making not enough money. In the book, uh, in uh, Jeff Bezos' biography uh, or Jeff Bezos' uh, book uh, called uh, Jeff Bezos and the Rise of Amazon by Brad Stone, Jeff Bezos was talking about the idea that most businesses, uh, there are two kinds of businesses, the missionary and the mercenary. The mercenary is out there to make a quick buck. The mercenary is out here to uh, to just make money. By the way, uh, you might be thinking where I'm at. I'm in Hawaii right now. I'm on my way from San Diego to Hawaii, to Shanghai, to Delhi, to Jaipur. It's probably like 55, 58, 60 hours of flight. And all I'm all over the place right now. I'm, I'm going to India to see my parents. But going back to the idea, a missionary, a missionary is focused on what can we do what can we do to help our customers what can we do to help the people in our business while a mercenary is focused on how can we make more money so a mercenary is constantly thinking about how can we make more money while a missionary is thinking how can we make our customers life better what is the mission and how can we continue to feed into that mission how can we continue to uh, support the mission support the cause and the difference and the amazing thing about that as soon as we start thinking about a mission what Jeff Bezos was saying is that Amazon was founded on the principle of being a missionary, not a mercenary. A missionary, not a mercenary, right? And same with Hewlett Packard. It was founded on the principle of contribution, not making money first. That's not the principle, right? So a lot of these guys, a lot of these big businesses are talking about the same principle. Think about making a difference. Think about contributing and the money will come. What Jeff Bezos was saying is there's a paradox inherent in this whole thinking. When you are a missionary, you're not really focused on money as much as you are focused on building something of value, making your customers' lives better. 
you end up actually making more money because you're a missionary. On the other hand, when you're a mercenary and all you think about is how can I make more money, you end up not making money. You end up not building an enterprise. You don't build a great business. You will never build a, a long-lasting business. You will never bring long-lasting business if all you think about is how can I make quick money and how can I get extract value from my customers rather than create value from for my customers. That's the thinking, that's the mindset you need to have. The missionary mindset in some ways, the contribution mindset, not the uh, profiteering mindset. So if you're building your business, this is the question you want to constantly ask yourself. Every single week, every single day, am I doing this? Am I doing this? to make my customers' lives better? Am I doing this to make a contribution to this world? Am I doing this to make this world a better place? Or am I doing this just so that we can make a little more money? That's a very important question. You really want to ask that question again and again to yourself because what you often find is that you're answering that question and then you wear off the path. You wear off the path and you think about, okay, well, I think we're, we're on the right track. But then again and again, you end up doing the wrong things because you're worried you're worried about that quick cash. You're, you're trying to make that quick cash, and as a result, you're losing in the game of business. So think, constantly think about what can you contribute, not how can you be successful. What can I contribute? What can I give to this world? What can I give to my employees? What can I give to my customers? Not how can I be successful. The, the paradox of being selfish is that being selfish actually ends up meaning that you don't make much money. But when you are giving, when you are truly giving, when you are out there to contribute, that's when you make the most money. Elon Musk, he didn't start uh, uh, SpaceX or Tesla because he wanted to make more money, really. He started SpaceX and Tesla because he had a mission. He started SpaceX, he talked, there's a huge uh, conversation, by the way, I summarized Elon's book and uh, Jeff Bezos' book on the, uh, on the channel, so you should check this out. Elon Musk was talking about the idea that he didn't build, like people ask him, why were you trying to build a rocket company? Why are you trying to build a rocket company? That's crazy, like, that's only for governments to do that. The private enterprises don't do that. Well, what Elon said was very telling. He said, I don't really care what our chances of being successful are. I just want to do it because I believe in the cause. When you believe in the cause, when you believe in the cause way more than whether you will succeed or not, that's when you will be successful. So that's the key here. What Elon was saying, what Jeff Bezos was saying, what Dave Packard was saying, they're all very similar. They're all on a mission. For Jeff Bezos, for Amazon, the mission is to make the customer's lives easier and to save them money. That's really what it is. So if you look at it, all the great businesses, all the biggest businesses, all the biggest, greatest businesses were all built on the idea and the foundation, how can we give? How can we contribute? How can we make our customers' lives better? not on the idea of how can we make more money. All the businesses that were founded on the principle of how can we make more money usually end up dying or usually end up not surviving for too long. So that is one of the most fundamental principles of building a business, something that you should keep in mind as often as you can, something that you should ask yourself as often as you can. Am I making a contribution to this world? Am I making this world a better place? Am I making this world a better place that I want to be a part of. Elon Musk, he started SpaceX because he wanted to save planet Earth, not because he wanted to make money from rockets. He wants to colonize Mars and take humanity to Mars so that even if there's any calamity, well, people will be able to survive, humanity will survive. So his mission, his mission was way bigger than what you would think uh, most people's missions are when it comes to building a business. People. Uh, when it comes to building a business, we're only thinking about ourselves, our own selfish interests. But look at all the biggest companies. Steve Jobs, Apple, he was really focused on the design, the simplicity. He wanted to build products so cool that he would love them. And he, he would not compromise. He never compromised on his values and principles when it came to simplicity, when it came to design and all those things. So on and on, like Dave Packard, the founder of uh, Hewlett Packard, Elon Musk, uh, Jeff Bezos, all of these guys, guys are talking about the same that you must start, you must start by thinking, okay, how can we contribute? How can we make the customer's life better? How can we make this world a better place? And when you do that, you will end up building a great business. You will end up building a great business. But only when you think, how can we make more money, that's when you will falter, that's when you will get yourself to trouble. So, by the way, guys, I'm on my way to India, I'm in Hawaii right now. I think Hawaii is one of the most beautiful places in the world, literally is. The weather here is so good, so good. If you have never been to Hawaii, I highly recommend to check it out. 
some point in your lifetime. It's it's paradise. It's paradise. It's heaven on earth. It's good for weather. Nighttime is good. Daytime is good. And uh, I'll be back uh, in San Diego in maybe a week's time, and I will see you guys there. All right, talk to you later. Bye bye.